we're set up here to chamber chamber barrel. This barrel has been chucked in a dead true chuck. The center tailstock center has been run in the breech end of the barrel. This steady rest is adjusted around the barrel so that when you turn the lathe on the barrel is running true. You notice that this, this barrel is running true from end to end. Everything's all running true. It's been set up on centers. Now we remove the bullet tailstock back here from the barrel. We've got a chambering reamer. This is a 300 Weatherby chambering reamer. It's held by a lathe dog. This is called a lathe dog. The lathe dog is tightened on the rear of the chambering reamer. All chambering reamers are made with a center. They're, they're machined and, and ground on centers. Each end of the reamer has a, has a, has a center to it. Take the chambering reamer, dip it in the oil, put the center in the rear of the chamber reamer, slide it into the slide it into the barrel slowly, come up to a stop. I've nearly finished this chamber already. I need to just deepen this chamber just a couple of thousands. The tailstock of my lathe here is graduated two and a half thousands graduations. In this instance, I need to deepen that chamber by that amount. Okay, we got the chamber cut to the depth that we need it to. Now I'm going to pull the chamber reamer out of the barrel. The lathe, the lathe is stopped. Set my reamer aside. Turn the lathe back on. Wipe the rear of the chamber out. Make sure that there isn't any reamer chips in the rear of the chamber. This is a magnum headspace gauge. Insert that into the breech end of the barrel. This is the depth micrometer. Measures in thousandths of an inch. And I measure my depth here. Tells me that I actually need to go just a little bit deeper. So turn the lathe back on. Put the chamber reamer back in the barrel. Took another about a thousandth and a half out of the chamber. We can reach the chamber out. Chips in there. Take my headspace gauge, put it in the breech of the barrel again. The depth of micrometer is held on the breech of the barrel, measures down to the headspace gauge. I believe that we're at the required depth. Change the gears on my lathe so my lathe will run run fast. I've got some 400 grit paper here that I use. I wrap it around this little tool here. Turn my lathe on at high speed. Come in here with this paper. Change. change my paper from 400 to 600 grit.
just polish the chamber. Now I need to remove my barrel from the lathe. Take it over the other side of the shop, put it in the barrel vise and tighten the action on it and check the see that it's the proper headspin.